the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey there, you guys! Welcome back to Raven Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Play for comic book anime reviews. This is my review for Burn the Witch, chapter number three. And this was a really great chapter of Burn the Witch. This was exactly what I needed. This was the hype chapter that I really wanted. Um, because we got like the last chapter was just amazing, man, like cock teens of us getting this character called Bruno Bangla. He ends up in the chapter, and we're about ready. We're going to get ready for a big epic showdown with this character, and it's about to get really epic. Uh, but then it just ends. It just ends, so it's just like it teases about a big fight that's about to happen, and but then it give us the big fight that we really wanted to see. That's what I really want. I wanted to see the big epic fight that would come from. You know, these kind of meeting up with this kid who's trying to take down Balbo. And the so that we got that. We pretty much got that in this chapter. And I really like that. We pretty much get like covering up everything that we kind of were like theorizing about what was going on here. That this was a kind of like played up. Uh, like like this long scale game that was being played. Um, Bruno at first, you know, he pretty much denies that like I have nothing to do with what Macy's doing right there. But we do find out that he did come to Macy in the flashback. That Macy did that Bruno did meet with Macy um, at one point. And Bruno, I mean Bruno, kind of like says that, like, hey, she would have found the place anyway. She can see dragons in front of London anyway. She already has magical ability, which is basically similar to the spiritual abilities that happened in the original Bleach storyline. Um, so she can see dragons. Um, just like um, the characters in Reversal of the Hand. And that, the idea that she would have eventually found Reversal at some point anyway, that was kind of Bruno's whole belief system. And so having her come here to kind of like make this coup to make her part of this ordeal plan to kind of capture Balgo and take down, you know, Noel and Nini. Um, that's kind of what we're kind of pretty much brought up in this chapter. And I really, really um, love how this story did that. I thought it was really, really well done. Um, I also really love the fact that, like, it's really pushed in, like, these are really the grunts. Like, Noel and Nini really are the grunts of this organization. They don't really have a whole lot of say in the organization. They don't have a lot of power in it. They are very much the bottom of the bottom barrel in this organization. Um, and that is really put forth here, and when it really kind of speaks to them, like, he, he like, this is pretty much if, like, you know, Gin Shimaro was going around, was going around a uh, society just murdering Shinigami. Like, just random Shinigami. Like, they are the random Shinigami in this case. And Bruno is here to kind of like, hey, I'm going to take this ball again. I, I don't want to kill you. Um, I'll let you guys live. But hey, if you want to, you know, try to stop me, I will murder you as well. So that's kind of the story that is put forth here. And I really thought, thought that I really thought it was really, really well done and really well executed for this whole, you know, story that is the title title Cooper was really putting forth here. And he's doing a really good job of, you know, the bleach illusions in this story, making it very similar to the bleach, you know, like you can definitely feel that this thing takes place in that universe, in that time period. And it really works. It really works. <laughs> Everything in this storyline works, and I really dug it a lot. So, yeah, that's pretty much us on Burn the Witch, chapter number three. Let me come with you about Burn the Witch, chapter number three, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.